Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the last Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 10 due to the end of support, according to Microsoft, that the OS reached yesterday on the 14th of October. And it is strange to think that we are talking about the final update for Windows 10. Although I personally think Microsoft is going to be pushing out the odd quality and security update from time to time to the OS, even if you are going to be running the OS unsupported and not signed up to the ESU program. But nonetheless, getting back to the update. So the update is a compulsory mandatory update. So if we head to our update history page, the final update for Windows 10 KB5066791. And because it is a mandatory update, if we head over to Winver about Windows, the final build for Windows 10 22H2 is OS build 19045.6456. Now, first and foremost, the updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of the month are security updates. And for this month, we get 97 vulnerabilities that have been patched and that's quite a lot of security issues that have been resolved. So obviously Microsoft trying to patch everything due to the fact that this is the last and final update for the OS according to Microsoft. And out of the 97 vulnerabilities patched, the update addresses two critical, which is your highest rank vulnerability, which are listed as heat buffer overflow and elevation of privilege. So 97 vulnerabilities so 97 vulnerabilities have been fixed with 5066791. Now, this security update also includes fixes and quality improvements that were part of this update. KB5066198, which was the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of September, which was the last C release update for Windows 10. And I posted on the update, I'll leave a video link down below in the end screen, but basically it just included a small set of general improvements and fixes. Check the video out. As mentioned, it's linked if you want more information. Now, over and above all of that, Microsoft has also pushed out fixes. So obviously Microsoft trying to patch everything with a final update. So I'm just going to mention these quickly. Microsoft says it's fixed an issue with the Chinese input method editor. Apparently, private Unicode characters were shown incorrectly and did not meet the GB18030 standard. They also fixed an issue that was affecting user32 edit controls. And apparently, there's a fix for Windows Remote Management, WinRM, where it was timing out after 600 seconds. So that's been fixed. And then we get a so-called new feature, which I don't think is going to be any use to your average home user. It's more for corporations and enterprises. But nonetheless, Microsoft says this update introduces a servicing stack update, which incorporates an updated certificate chain to improve Azure environment validation. So there we go. We get one new feature for enterprises with the final update and last update for Windows 10. And then Microsoft mentions lastly that this update removes the LTMDM64.sys driver. Apparently, fax modem hardware dependent on this specific driver will no longer work in Windows. So, Microsoft seems to be patching all the last little goodies with this update. And although it's so-called the final update for Windows 10, I personally think even if you are going to run the OS unsupported, you will still be getting the odd update from time to time. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.